This is Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you couldn't tell already, I'm in a new camera. I'm not in a new camera. I guess I am. I don't know why I thought that because I'm like in there. So I was thinking I'm in my camera. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> I just got a new camera. Mike and I bought the Sony A5000. I've been using it on my last couple trips. And so this is the first time I'm filming with it and I'm trying so hard not to keep like looking at the viewfinder because it's awesome. It tells me that I'm still recording. I can record past 10 minutes. I'm living the dream, guys. So I just finished this makeup look. It is a full face of makeup using just samples. So I've seen a few ladies on YouTube do this already and it was a really cool idea. Looking at my samples, I have so many. Like this is a jewelry box that I just put all my samples, oh, ow. And if you are like me, you just keep them and hoard them and never use them, which is a shame because there's lots of good things that you can try out without having to commit to purchasing them. So it's a really great way to try to do that. So if you're interested in seeing this makeup look, please keep on watching. And if you've done this challenge, go ahead and link your video down below so I can watch it in the comments. So I challenge Maddie, she is Madeline Dubon here on YouTube, Talia, it's Talia, makeup by T Pinky Lily, um, Hazel Beauty uh, 89, I challenge hmm, Jen Lee, she would be bomb at this. Hmm. I will list more names down below because I think it's a really cool challenge and I think it'd be really fun to do. Ooh, Arnell would probably kick butt on this. Let's go look at my Instagram. Just Isa Lioness, Lawn Femme Beauty, I want you to do this. Go Blab, Jessica, I want you to do this. I want all of you to do this. I mean, definitely use up your samples, try something new, get to play with makeup, and it will just be a fun time. So I will see you in my next video. Oh, oh that was really loud. <laughs> so, all right, bye. So a few different places that I like to get my samples are Sephora and Ulta. Those are places where if I purchase something, they always offer samples with uh, skincare or makeup or whatever it is. Uh, another way to get samples are with your points. So depending on how many points you get, you can get things like this. This is a Laura Mercier one that I just got recently at Sephora. When you accumulate a certain amount of points, you can get the big one like this or you can get like one of the smaller samples like with 100 to 200 points depending on what it is that you're attempting to get. Now another one that I have done recently is the Play by Sephora. So this Play by Sephora, this is something, it's also a subscription service. You pay $10 a month and then you get to try out five to six different products. Um, another popular one is the Ipsy bag. And so the Ipsy bag again is another $10 service. Um, you pay monthly you can do the whole year or you can do month at a time and inside you get five to seven different samples deluxe samples and then you get to try stuff out they also offer different sales on their website so that you can purchase full size or like really discounted items so that's really awesome now another way to try samples is just going to the counters and asking for different kinds so here i have foundations eye creams I have masks, so this is always free. So you can always ask. You can get up to three samples, I think, depending on where you go. And then you can just try and see how you like it. It's a good way to try things without committing to the full size right away. So I've had really good experiences with those. Right now I'm still subscribed, but I don't know. I like to change it up and try the other ones. There are other... Um, I did Birchbox for a little bit, um, but then I canceled that. That one was really good because they had... Um, really good sized products. I know there's one, hmm, I forget what it is, but I'll, I'll write it right here. But this box, they do full size all the time. Um, I have not tried that. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it because you get full sizes. So today I'm going to do my full face with just samples. So to prep my face, I'm going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is the Marine Boosting Mist. And so this is something that I think would be similar to my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water that I use all the time. Oh, so new, I haven't even like sprayed. 
Mmm, smells like the sea. I need some lip love, so I'm gonna use this LAQA and Co. Lip Lube. So I'm going, I hope it doesn't have too much color. I think it does. Oh well, I'll wipe it off later, but I just need some chapstick on my lips right now because my lips are so dry. Oh, I do have a primer. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer. This is the hydrating one, and so I'm going to use that all over my face. This is perfect actually, because I wanted to see if I wanted to use this one because I've tried the mattifying one but I feel like it might be too mattifying. I have a lot of different foundations that I want to try. Okay so I have the Ultra HD. I've actually used this a ton in my video so I'm going to skip that. I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and this is in the color 5.5 and then I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation and so a lot of the samples will come in these like little package kind of things. I think I'm going to mix these two colors because I'm I think I'm gonna be in between so I'm gonna take the luminous silk this one's really expensive so I'm glad I got to try it with a sample first so that one is a little bit light so I'm gonna take maybe tan sand see some of these samples I've like I haven't even used so there it is right there so I think I'm going to take a little bit of tan sand right here. Oh, just making a mess. Morphe M439, I'm going to pat that into the skin. Now I've never tried the Ultra HD concealer, so I'm going to take this one. It is in the shade Y41 and it actually also has a R40. It's kind of a peach concealer, so I'm gonna see if I can take some of that. So here it is in the little packaging. I'm gonna take some of that corrector and just put it right in the inner corner. I'm not flicking you off. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the Y41 and then I'm gonna use that to highlight and conceal. Ooh. This might be too orange. Oh, that looks so bad on the camera. I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> so I'm definitely not Y41 in the concealer. I'd probably pick a lighter shade just so that it's more highlighting. Yeah, that's not the business. <laughs> Let's see if we can fix this. I'm gonna take some Tarte. This is the Smooth Operator um, Loose Powder. Okay. Lighten up this baby. Cause girl, looks really not cool. I'm like in a puff of smoke right now. I'm gonna let that bake. Hopefully lighten up my concealer. Brush some of that off my eyelid. This is a, a Morphe brush. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my brows. So I'm going to use the It Cosmetics. This is called the Universal Brow Pencil. And I've been wanting to try this for a, a really long time, actually, because it's supposed to be this magical pencil that matches everybody. It's got a little spoolie and the pencil on that side. So I'm going to brush my brows. I'm going to warm up the pencil on the back of my hand because I just don't want it to, like, pull. If you would like to see a full brow tutorial, I will link that down below. This is the Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Fill Brow Gel. This is tinted. So having a little tinted brow gel will sort of like fill in the gaps. 
and kind of elongate those brow hairs so it looks a little bit more full. Nice. I'm going to brush away this bake now. Nah, that like toned down my super yellow uh, concealer. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. I'm going to take that on this Morphe Rose Gold brush. I'm going to use that to bronze up my skin and contour a little bit. And I'm going to use this Too Faced Trio right here. So I'm going to take the dark chocolate soleil and I'm going to deepen up my contour a little bit more and take that on my everyday minerals this is the itahaki brush so I'm just going into it just like that they're actually like pressed powders on there it's so strange for blush I'm going to use these urban decay eight hour powder blushes I wonder if they still do these because some of these um, samples are kind of old. So, so I'm taking that shade Quickie. And I'm going to be using this No Name Blush Brush. This is the Trust Fun Beauty That Glow Though. This is a highlighting stick and I'm going to take that on the highest points of the face. I'm going to use that as a base for a powder highlight in a second. This is the Benefit. This is called the Sheer Brightening Color for Cheeks and Lips. I'm going to use the lightest shade in this little trio. It looks like that. I'm going to use that lightest shade to highlight. Take that on my Morphe. This is the M509. Maybe I have a NARS Pro Prime in all of this. Let's look. I do remember having it before. Oh, I do. It's so good. This Smashbox. This is our Try Our Trios, Velvety Smooth, High Res Hues, and there are three different shade choices. Take this e.l.f. brush, it's a flawless concealer brush, I'm going to take that shade Vanilla, right there. Whoa. I'm going to use that to set my um, lids. I'm going to take this Senna, this is the Feather 15 brush, I'm going in to go into that Sable shade right here. And take that right in the crease. Then going in with my Sigma E25 brush, I'm going to use this to blend this darker shade called Sumatra. Right there. Those are actually really nice. I have some Smashbox shadows, but I actually gave them to my mom. I wanted to make her feel special. This is a Bare Minerals like quad. I think I'm gonna go into the second shade right there and it's called Chic Diamond. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this spray, wet the brush. So I didn't say it, but I just took the shade Clarity. And I just put that in the inner corner. This is a eye crease brush. I'm going to take the Sumatra and the Sable. I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. So I have this Marc Jacobs. This is called the... It's the Magic Marker Precision Pen Eyeliner in the shade Blacker. So I'm going to do a pretty simple wing. This is the Highliner Gel Crayon. Twists up like this. I'm going to use that to line my upper and lower limb, ooh, upper and lower rims. I'm going to go back into Sable and sort of just blow that out. I'm going to use the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte for my top. I'm 
I wanted to try this Lancome um, primer one. <laughs> My lower lashes are really sad, so I want them to be a little bit more amped up. So I'm going to take that. Benefit They're Real. This is a cult favorite for some. I'm going to use that on the lower lash line. Okay, so I have the Makeup Forever. This is the Aqualip Waterproof Pencil. This is in the color 3C. I'm going to use that all over my lips. So I've wiped off that uh, lip balm that I had on earlier. And then I'm filling the whole lip. And then I'm going to use this Kat Von D. This is Lolita, the original Lolita. Now some samples are not free. So this one came in a duo, but it's sample size, like it's a tinier version. Hmm, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry, and then on top of that, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Lip Glacé in the shade Blush, because I do want a nude lip, but I want it to last longer, but I want it to be glossy, if that makes sense. I'm going to take this Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil and I'm going to put that over my current eyeliner. And I think that's the finished look. So thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this full face challenge with just samples. This turned out pretty good, actually. I list all my social media down below, but definitely give me a follow and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.